of all, let me thank each of you for coming today. I know it means a lot to Ashley and to Matt. It also means a lot to, to me and to the rest of the family. And I told Ashley on the way to church this morning that uh, the crowd will be there today, not necessarily to see the beautiful decorations, though they've done a tremendous job. It's not just to see the pageantry, but it's because uh, both of you are beautiful on the inside. And it's your, your spirit. And a lot of people um, love you because of your spirit and your love for the Lord. But uh, somebody asked me if I was nervous. I'm not necessarily nervous. I'm a little emotional today. But uh, I'm excited to be here and to perform this ceremony for Matt and Ashley, who have come to me expressing their desire and believing it be the will of God that they come together as husband and wife. First time he ever saw Ashley, she was singing a special in, in college chapel there at Bible College, and he said he fell in love immediately with her smile. And uh, then he saw he would see her in the hallways and uh, just always noticed that she was smiling and just thought she was so beautiful. But he was too nervous or too scared to talk to her. So, and this is Ashley's words, uh, Matt became the stalker. Um, Matt actually went to the Dean of Students and got her a copy of her class schedule. And he left a heart and a poem in every one of her classes, but he didn't leave her na his name. And so she received all these things, but she didn't know who it was from. And then a little bit later, uh, it was near the Valentine's banquet day, he left a heart and a note and a box of chocolates on her seat where she sat in chapel, but again, didn't leave her name or his name. And uh, so Ashley said she was a little strange, but she took the note and she ate the chocolates and just wondered who gave them to her. Apparently, uh, Matt had heard rumors that she couldn't attend the banquet, and I don't remember all the details of that. But uh, he, uh, so he was, he was, uh, I guess, decided not to ask her on that day. Well, a little while later, let me make sure I get all the notes just right here. Uh, they. Uh, Let's see, the next day, I think, after this, he left these chocolates, he came up to her and he said, you remember the hearts, remember the poems, remember all those things? He said that they were for me. And he asked her for a chapel date, and she agreed to go with him. 